the movie idea came from Angela. Uh, she's one of the residents actually right across the street. Okay. It was a dream of hers, and she wanted to do it for a long time. And it seems turned out that it was a really great idea to get people out, there, especially with the children. And uh, my biggest passion is getting them connected with resources. So today, a lot of uh, different organizations came out to offer resources. We're really proud of the fact that they came outside of their doors to do that. Tori Martin, CEO of Martin's Landscaping. You know, it's a lot of positive things, blood pressure checks, just different literature out here. It's just a, just a festive event for all. Monique and I live on 16th and North Avenue. It's nice. It's nice for them to have something like this for people to come out and enjoy themselves without all the violence and all that. So it's, it's, it's pretty good. I love it. And she got the children together. We got parents together. You don't see any fighting, any arguments, anything like that. Just positive. Yeah. Um, when the horses came in, mm -hmm. <laughs> how they was talking about the cowboy was talking about getting the young man together. I actually, see the little boy hula hooping. You know, usually little boys they don't want to touch the hula hoop. He was so good. Great. Yeah, he was very good. <laughs> yeah. My name is Tiana Perry, and I live in Brown Deer. What has been your favorite part? The free food. <laughs> I'm just playing a dance contest. When you see board ups, you know, how does that make you feel? If the environment plays a big role. I mean, we know that. I think they should be concerned about all these boards, these boarded up houses, and that are not even boarded up. Some of them are partially boarded up. They're they're easy access for for people who want to commit, um, you know, criminal or violent activities. And I hope that uh, residents coming out and showing themselves to be a part of this community can get together and ask our officials to address the problem in this area because really, it's not what we want to look like. Okay. We don't want to look right. like that. Board up houses is very dangerous for one. Because you have like people that don't have no homes, they be in there living and it's dangerous. Uh, I do know personally that a lot of homeless people go into the abandoned buildings. I have watched one abandoned building get set on fire on accident because the homeless were living in it with candles. Well to me I feel that um, most of these buildings are vacated. It shows opportunity. Opportunity can be done in this neighborhood with um, positive events such as this.